Now we're going to go over how to set up and use Zoom on your iPhone or iPad. The first thing you want to do is go to the App Store and download the Zoom app and you will see it looks like this one. So we're going to go ahead and open it up once you've got it installed. And you'll be greeted at this screen. And you get a few options down here at the bottom. One says join meeting. You can sign up or sign in. If you just tap on join meeting, um, if you have the meeting ID that the person sent you in the Zoom meeting invitation, you can go ahead and type that in and automatically join now. You can change the name so people know it's you. And you can say don't connect your audio or turn off my video. That's up to you, but then people won't be able to hear or see you. So keep that in mind. You can also sign up. If you don't have an account with them already, if you want to, that way Zoom is easier to use in the future. Or you can sign in. And if we tap on sign in, maybe your work has created um, a Zoom account for you because they have a license with them. Then this is where you want to go and you want to sign in with that information or if you already have an account. Down at the bottom, you have more options like Google or Facebook. Um, so if you have a Gmail account and maybe you haven't even set up a Zoom account, you can actually just click sign in and tap on Google and select the account you want and then you'll be able to just create an um, account using your Google information or Facebook. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to select on Google. I'm going to click continue. Once it loads, um, if you're already signed in via Safari, it'll pop up um, with your Google accounts. If you don't see the Google account here that you want to use, you just go ahead and click use another account and then you'll sign in with the username and password for the Gmail account you would like to associate with Zoom. But mine's right here, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. Once that's done, it's going to ask you um, would you like Zoom to send you notifications and things like that? It's up to you whether you want to allow it. And then it's going to ask, you know, if you want to take access to your calendar. I do not, but that's up to you. That way, if you have scheduled meetings, it'll work. Now, once you're in here, you see you get a bunch of different options at the top, like new meeting, join meeting, schedule, or share your screen. And then down at the bottom, you get a bunch of different options as well, including your settings that you can go and um mess with if you need to. So if we want to create a meeting, we just click new meeting. This gives you the information and we'll click start. Once it loads up here, we're just going to have to go and give it access to things like the camera and the microphone, um, just so people can hear and see us. So make sure you allow those. And once we're in, you see a bunch of different options at the top and bottom here. You can mute your microphone and your video on the bottom left if you don't want people to hear or see you. You can do that individually if you want. Then you'll see next to that you have the share button here. You can also go and hit the participants tab down here and you will see a list of everyone on the call and you can mute their microphones and things like that or you can mute everyone on the call. Um, it's up to you. You can also go ahead and um, chat people down in the bottom left, and that's just what it sounds like. It's just you can chat people, um, the whole, everyone in the conference. You can also click the invite button, and from here you can send an email and send this invitation so people can join the meeting if they want to. Um, the easiest way to do it is to probably send it via email. That way anybody um, who's using a laptop or phone can access the invitation. And then you can go ahead and in this email, you see it populates with the um, URL. And if people just click that link and they already have Zoom installed on the device they're using, it'll just open up Zoom and it'll automatically put them in the meeting with you guys. So that's the easiest way to do it is for them to just click on that link. Um, if they need the meeting ID and password, they can join via that way. And with the invitation, it has that information as well. So they can join the meeting that way if they so choose. So now I'm just going to go ahead and head back. And you also, the last option here is the more option on the bottom right. And if you click on that, um, you can get to chat this way. You can click on meeting settings and adjust those and things like that if you want to. So there's just a few more settings there. Then um, to go ahead and kind of 
end the call, you just go ahead and tap on the end button and you'll get the option to leave meeting or if you're the host, you also get the option to end the meeting for everybody. Again, that's the host, the person who's organized it and set up the call. Only they can end the meeting for everybody. Um, everyone else can just leave the meeting individually. So that's how you would go ahead and end the meeting or leave the meeting if you so choose. So now we're going to go ahead and end the meeting here and head out. You'll see it's leaving. Now if I want to join one that's already going on, I can click on that and this is where that meeting ID information comes in handy. Um, so if I didn't click on the link um, or maybe I'm looking at it on my computer, I can manually type in the link here or the um, meeting ID here on my phone um, and you get your other options down here. If you don't want to automatically connect with your audio or video, you can turn those on or off from here before you even join. You can also change your name. So your name could show up differently um, when you're in the call to other people, but make sure they know it's you. So that's how you go ahead and set up Zoom on an iPhone or iPad and how you use some of the basic features. Hopefully that helps.